today on the channel, Tor steps their game up. Let's take a look. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, before we jump in, I know it's been a hot minute since you've seen a video from me. We've had some things change behind the scenes where I live in terms of firearms legislation and also on YouTube in terms of channel visibility. And I wanted to take a beat to kind of plan out what I wanted to do in order to keep this channel viable. But now we're back and we're taking a look at the Taurus 856 Executive Grade. On its surface, this is just kind of an upgraded 856, but I also think that it also signals a change in thinking at Taurus. So today I'm going to take you through the 856 Executive Grade and give you a basic overview, give you my first impressions, touch on some things that I like and some things that I don't like, and then I'll tell you why I think this might mark a turning point for Taurus. Now before we get started, the usual couple of notes. First, everything that I talk about in my videos can be found in the blog links page, which is linked in the description below. Second, we're looking at an internally unmodified firearm, and there is no ammo present anywhere here. And third, last but not least, if you appreciate what I'm doing here, consider throwing me a super thanks. Just like everything else on the channel, this firearm and the optics and the ammo is all self-funded out of my own pocket. So any and every little bit that you can throw me definitely helps. Like its name implies, the 856 Executive Grade is based on the 856 line of 38 Special Revolvers, like the one that we took a look at previously. In particular, it's based on the 856 Defender model with a 3-inch barrel and Hogue rubber grips. Now from there, Taurus turns it into what's the equivalent of a Performance Center model from Smith & Wesson, with some notable changes to the action and externally as well. MSRP for the 856 Executive Grade is $689, but you can find it around $500 depending on the retailer. I paid $530 for this one at Brownells. Now, I did a whole separate video on the unboxing of the 856 Executive Grade, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. For this video, I'll just give you all another look at the sweet Pelican vault case that Taurus throws in with the Executive Grade. It's got a big chunky handle, it's got a pressure relief valve there, it's got custom cut foam on the inside. This thing is an awesome way to transport the 856 Executive Grade, even on an airplane or to the range, or if you want, you could repurpose this thing for carrying ammo or cameras or other guns or, you know, anything really. In general, it's a huge step up from the basic orange and white cardboard box that you get with most Taurus revolvers. Now, the 856 Executive Grade is still a small frame revolver, but a bit bigger than your normal snub-nosed pocket revolver, again, like that other one that we took a look at. It measures 7.5 inches long by 4.8 inches high by 1.4 inches wide at the cylinder here. It's all metal, so it weighs in at 25 ounces unloaded, according to Taurus. The sights on the 856 Executive Grade are similar to the standard 856, with a frame trough rear sight and a serrated blade front sight. You can see that I switched this one out for the factory Taurus night sight, but I will roll in some pictures here of what the blade sight looks for you so you can see it. The frame, cylinder, and barrel are all stainless steel, and they all get this smooth satin finish that's unique to the Executive Grade. It's hand polished to achieve a nice uniform finish, that's a lot nicer than the matte stainless that you get on the regular 856, and it's in a completely different league from the matte black finish on the other 856. Now, looking around the gun, there's no uneven spots or spots with noticeable finishing marks or anything like that, so I think they did a really, really awesome job with the finishing on this. The frames are marked with the Taurus Executive Grade logo on the right side, and it's actually engraved into the frame instead of just lasered on there. Also engraved are Taurus International Manufacturing, Bainbridge, Georgia, and the model number, as well as Taurus Armas, made in Brazil, on the left side. The engraving is clean, as you can see. It's uniform. It's just really well done. Taurus also says that the executive grade features an improved trigger guard, but comparing it to that other 856, the only difference I can see is that this trigger guard is a little bit thinner. The shape itself is exactly the same. Now, the cylinder is another place where Taurus took some extra time with the executive grade. It's still a six-shot cylinder chambered in 38 Special Plus P, but they did some extra machining around the chamber mouth to chamfer the lip of each one of these chambers. This makes it a bit easier to insert cartridges, especially when you're going for a fast reload. The spent cases get kicked out by an ejection rod that feels like the spring is a little bit stiffer than the standard A56. It's also fully shrouded when the crane is closed, and it has some nice knurling on the end of it as well, as you can see there. Another executive grade specific feature that you've seen already are these grips, which are walnut and they're checkered on both sides here. They're a really beautiful color and visually complement the satin metal really, really well in my eyes. They let me get a nice full grip on this, but they don't stick out any further than they need to down here, which keeps this a relatively concealable weapon. In fact, I don't think that these grips are any taller than the Hogue rubber grips that are available on the standard A56, 
but they are a bit longer in the heel of the grip. Unlike the standard A56, the executive grade is double action only, so you can't pull the hammer back, and as you can see, it uses a bobbed hammer with no spur. This should make for one less snag point when coming in and out of a holster, especially if it's being carried under clothing. Taurus says that the action has been tuned for enhanced smoothness, and I can definitely confirm that. The action feels like there's a lot less, like, friction in between the parts of the trigger during the pull, and this is the most noticeable right in the middle when the pull force peaks. In the 856, the pull can sometimes feel like gritty or stagey, but here in the executive grade, it just feels like the trigger rolls really smoothly right through to the hammer release. The pull weight is just as heavy as the standard 856, but it feels lighter because it's smoother. Now, let me just make sure that we're clear, and we are. So it just pulls and feels really smooth all the way through it, and when you get to kind of here, it just pulls back, not on its own, but the force peaks and then just drops away really nicely. Now comparing that to the standard A56, and we are clear here also, this just feels like there's, see, the trigger just kind of hangs up. You can see it visually kind of hang up if I go slow enough. If I go fast, it's not too much, but if you try to really go slow through double action, you can feel it kind of stage, and you can just feel that there's like friction here that you just don't get on this one. Now, speaking of pull weight, I measured this out, and it's off the top of the scale for my little Wheeler trigger gauge, so I can't give you an exact number, but most say that it's around 11 to 11 and a half pounds. Now, what I can tell you is that the pull weight is notably heavier than this thing, because this has the Wolf Shooter spring kit in it, so the trigger is a lot lighter. This is heavier, but I still prefer the double action pull of this overall, because it's just, again, it's so smooth, and there's none of the grit in the trigger that that other one has. So, what do I like about the 856 Executive Grade? Well, a lot over the standard 856. I like the longer barrel, I love the new finishing, I love the new grip, and I love the action. So basically everything the Taurus has changed, I really, really like. I was at first a little bit apprehensive of the double action only trigger pull, but I've gotten used to it and feeling how smooth it is, it's really not a problem at all. The bobbed hammer just kind of like looks cool and separates it visually from the rest of the lineup, which I think is also cool. Now, again, not everything's perfect, and if I had to nitpick, I would have liked to see Taurus upgrade that front sight for me right out of the box without having me do it myself. Either that or just adding a speed loader or two or even like a basic holster in the package would really put this whole package over the top. So, what do I think of the 856 Executive Grade kind of overall? Well, overall, I think it's a solid improvement over that standard 856, especially in terms of shooting feel. The grip combined with the worked over trigger really changes the entire feel of the gun to the point where I don't really see a need to change anything internally on this one like with our base 856. It's just that good to me. I think that the features and that the finishing that Taurus has added to this make the added money really well worth it. I mean, heck, just that Pelican case and this wood grip together are worth almost the entire price premium over the base weapon. What this gun really makes me want though is a 357 mag version. Taurus recently released an executive grade judge, but I hope that they continue to expand this lineup and their way of thinking to their existing lineup. Speaking of which, I think that the thought process that created this gun, from the attention to detail in the finishing, to the solid value for dollar, to the unboxing experience, it symbolizes a whole different thought process that's happening, I think, at Taurus. You can see it in this model and in models like the G3 Tactical and the GX4 Toro, if they can add features to their models and make them feel that much more like special and maintain their value proposition, I think they can tap into a section of the market where a lot of us tend to shop, one where they can definitely gain some credibility. A lot of us just want the most value for our money in a reliable firearm that will work every single time. And I think that this is a sign that Taurus understands this and are kind of moving towards that market. So that's my first impression of the Taurus 856 Executive Grade. I'm going to go put some more rounds through this and possibly do a long-term review. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you are interested in. Make sure you're subscribed and you've got that bell rung because it really helps me out with the algorithm and everything like that, especially after being gone for a while. Throw me a like if you appreciate what I'm doing here. And if you really appreciate what you see on the channel, consider throwing me that super thanks. Coming up next on the channel is that long-awaited and overdue review of the Swamp Fox Sentinel Micro Carry Optic. So if you're interested in that, keep a lookout for that next video. That's all I've got for you this time, so until next time, stay safe.